Hello there, fellow Void Researchers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death Cult, Episode 6, The Lost Colony. The Deadfall Trap entryway is really putting in work, making life easy. I mean, obviously, at some point, the threats I'm going to face will outpace the benefit of this, like, little trap hallway, and it won't be enough. But it's enough for now, which is, you know, works for me. His name is like a dyslexic Dovakin. Dukovin. So instead of um, talking to dragons, he, uh, he he slurs his words and cusses at dragons. That's my headcanon now. Uh, wooden bed. All right. If we're doing the surgery, I'm going to be doing a surgery on a, uh, uh, on a bed. Hey, can it accepted? Well, thank you. Oh, bit of a power outage. I can always flick the, uh, the wood fire generator just to top us up. It's been foggy and fog kills solar so like that doesn't surprise me at all the other thing is there's a very nice spot here which would not destroy too many of the crops but like allow me to run um oop, i misplaced it would allow me to to run wind at like virtually no cost so i'm gonna do that then run a hidden conduit out Just finished getting the steel for us. So now he's probably back on construction and butchering. Look at him jiggle. <laughs> it's funny on uh, fast forward speed. It looks hilarious. Bioferret shipping is done. Cool. Uh, you guys want me to harvest organs? Got it. Next anomaly research. We're really speeding through this. Uh, so let me take off the shaper. And now the list. Nothing has changed. The shaper leads to stuff that... Oh, no, actually, it leads to disruptor flares. So build bio uh, firelight based flare packs that reveal invisible creatures and light up an area. Um, I'll add that after this poll. I don't think that that would win the poll anyway. I did mention perhaps putting the proximity detector uh, over here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it there so it covers this section, and we can do another um, provocation or a skip abduction. Um, I can have you guys decide which of the two. So if I can't min-max the, uh, I'm not exactly sure how these work. So this connects to both for 3.8 a day, and this connects to zero. So it, it, you can only connect one per. Yeah, max connected per building one. Okay, so I can get rid of this one, and I'll put it into storage for now. Might as well just have one thing that hurts containment offset rather than two. Seems like you guys want proximity detector. Got it. You can keep voting. It's not over, but I'll, I'll queue it up for now. And Dovakin, or Dukovin, uh, congratulations, you are losing a kidney, a lung, and a heart.
Now, what is going on with the, uh, li there's literally no limestone? No, there's limestone. Oh, you guys are restricted. I'm stupid. All right, there we go. Get back to cutting limestone so that we can finish that last bedroom. Fish, you seem hungry to me. So have some guinea pig. Lord X, thank you for the, uh, the resub. And Thomas Ross for the gifted sub. I missed that. My apologies. Why are you feeding our organ donor? What? Oh man, your bad back really is a uh, wolf. Girl, you need a new spine. I do too. I feel you there. All right, a little bit more tidied up. It's not perfect. It's not a formal store storage room. I wouldn't make a stone storage room. This is all temporary, but you know, it looks better. Um, and we are just about done patching up the last of the bedrooms. Then we'll do wind power. And yeah, that was intentional. Um, so proximity wins. What ritual to run? Uh, skip abduction or void provocation. So skip abduction, I'm going to say, I'm going assume. I've never run these before. But I'm going to assume skip abduction just like skips one random hostile person to us. Um, it re requires 60 bio ferrite. And we just get a person potentially to recruit or harvest or whatever. And then void provocation, um, you know, encourages uh, void entities to attack us. And a little reminder, of course, if we fill up the basic void entities, we gain access to the, the, the advanced ones. So it's like a, a checkpoint of sorts. more minute to vote on that and then I'll have you vote on the next construction project because we do have a basic mechanator um, gestating pod hey bud oh you want a peanut my pleasure dude you're a good little boy all right we are done with machining I'm gonna start queuing up microelectronics uh, but I'm gonna give you the option to choose this as well so many pulling but this is what a community run by you monsters look like. And yes, you're monsters now. I haven't forgotten about the uh, colony in distress. I'm sort of just waiting for us to... I'm going to choose... Oh, and uh, raffle timer for the Militor or the uh, lifter bot. Uh, I'm sort of just waiting for us to have a little bit more security. Because if we left now, um, we would have a very understaffed base. Jazz, a bear wants to eat you. That's not good. Please hit your targets. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Thank you. We're eating bear meat. 
Cheers. Okay. Um, I think the order of operations here. Let's update this. Um, help the deserter and then go to the colony in distress. Uh, I'm going to do skip abduction, but I think the deserter I want to do first. So let's do that first. So you are, because we already have a raffle timer, uh, a b wimpy, nervous body modder. Um, I mean, wimp, you, we can always do like a pain stopper or something, I suppose. You're 50 years old with an acid uh, death acidifier and a scratch scar. Because uh, you're a wimp, your death acidifier is very scary to have installed. Uh, so let's get you moving. I'm going to uh, put everyone indoors right now. And move this bed here for colonist. Uh, you are also a constructor, but you haul and clean. That's good. You can hunt hypothetically, although you're a wimp. Uh, can you remove the death acidifier? Uh, no. But this is, um, yeah, so this is the deserter quest and we don't have to keep her necessarily. It's just, uh, you know, if we want her. Okay. So here we go. Uh, the raid that is ensuing and they are way closer to our entryway. So they have a, um, a bio card to charge Lance and Hey, in the toolbox, uh, thank you for the raid. You were also playing Rumble today? Uh, I'm assuming you were playing Anomaly 1.5, and if you were, uh, what were you up to? I would love to know. And thank you for the raid, and welcome. We are fighting some, uh, some royals right now. I'm getting ready for that. Rough, I'm gonna get you out front. I could strip her of all the gear. Yeah, that it's not lost. Um... In fact, uh, given her wimpiness, I'm going to take off the flax stuff and put that on... Ooh, that's a good question. Put that on Jazz, maybe? All right, you know what? There's not even time for me to take off more off. Yeah, this is not much of a fight. Hi, I have ghouls and robots. And you have a death acidifier. Bye. Uh, all right, you. We're going to have to decide what to do with you. But, uh, Jazz, let's... You know, I actually am not going to do the flak jacket. I don't really want the move speed penalties of uh, wearing a flak jacket. So I'm not going to uh, wear that. I'm going to choose not to. You sorted a sort of uh, started a sort of SCP foundation. Yeah, I actually plan to do something similar to that on um, on uh, on Saturday, uh, like a marathon, doing something similar to that. All right, that was the raffle timer. So the lifter bot is a Cathanon, and then we have to decide what to do with the uh, deserter. Uh, So I'm going to name the deserter Moxie. Um, but uh, whether she sticks around or not is going like, to kind of be up to you. What to do with Moxie? Organ harvest. Um, keep as colonist. Enslave. Or uh, experiment. There is, of course, a fourth option now, which is to experiment on her, um, potentially turning her into like a ghoul or something like that. She would remain like a colonist or a slave for a bit, and then, you know, well, we could experiment on her, lobotomize her, etc. She's, uh, 
she's a problematic colonist at best. So we help the deserter. Cool. So go to the colony in distress is a current priority. I know I don't have a lot of time left in the stream. Um, so what I want to do is I want to try to get everything sort of level so that we can do that before the end. I'm assuming I can move the and uninstall the shaper as just like a workbench. So I'm going to build one knowing that I can move it around. Or I hope I can. But I gotta say, Team Spike Trap uh, has been helpful. Poor Moxie. Hey, hey, hey. I don't want to hear that. That is sympathy talk, and I have no tolerance for it. Not in this colony. She um, lives in an existence of, of suffering anyway. Uh, so Avaka ended up wearing the flak jacket. Um, I think I'm going to forbid that. So, apparel policies. I haven't really done yet, but flak. Helmets are okay, nothing else. Let's go and make some extra dusters, I guess. Uh, is there a reason research speed goes up and any success chance goes up? So, Moxie, take that off. Avaka needs that. And in fact, Jazz, take yours off. Crackhead needs that. Uh, I said take off the lab coat. Or I'll shoot you. It'll be an experiment to see whether or not you're bulletproof. And I'm guessing you're not bulletproof. Uh, where is the other lab coat? So yes, our researchers should be in lab coats. I figured that there was like a an advantage to that. All right, you're all allowed to move around now. Uh, lifter butt. What you working on, Kath? You're moving corpses up to the perfect. Rotted bucks. Oh man, that is one garden of gore. It's living up to its name. Flesh beast attack. Uh, and it's emerging in eight seconds. Okay. Um, Max, get inside. Everyone inside. Just as I release them. So where is this flesh beast attack? Here it is. We have a flesh beast. So this is. The seventh of eight basic entities. Um, hideous creatures composed of masses of cancerous flesh. Some contain multiple nervous systems, allowing them to split into smaller flesh beasts. So there's a tri-spike, a man-sized amalgamation of several smaller flesh beasts. Each of the creature's limbs is capable of surviving independently. On death, tri-spikes may split into separate finger spikes as each limb rips free and attacks. Moves at 4.3, so it's rather fast. Um, got it. Well, mm, let's go deal with that. And new research available, summon flesh beasts. So that is off of draw animals, so shamblers and flesh beasts. And summoning flesh beasts Perform a psycho ritual which provokes them. So it it we're not allied necessarily. And there we go. Now they're finger spikes. Gross. Um fill in. So fill in, tooltip, fill in this pit burrow. Wow, that's, I figured that that's what it did, and it does. Uh, so schedule for crackhead outside. So I'm going to have a crackhead fill in a hole. <laughs> English, what a weird language, right? Sometimes. And of course, everyone here is guarding. Here we go. Flesh beasts attempted, but uh, they were not 
a match for us at all. So flesh beasts are like a species, which is, you know, tri spikes, finger spikes, and, and uh, I'm guessing two other larger varieties, which would be revealed here once we find them. That would be a guess. I don't, I haven't played that far. This is as far as I've played, so what you see is not what I see. Uh, they didn't really seem capturable, but we probably need the, um, the like, stun gun to do it. Uh, so Mex, lifter is unrestricted now. Good, good, good. So here at the Biofarite Shaper, uh, we can make a Ritual Mask, a Ceremonial Hood, and a Nerve Spiker. So I'm going to make a Nerve Spiker, which is our, like, captured uh, crossbow. And if you're wondering about um, experimenting on Moxie, uh, there's Ghoul Infusion, which is off of Bioferret Shaping. Uh, perform a surgery that infuses a living person with a Architect Shard, transforming them into a terrifying ghoul. Ghouls are strong melee combat combatants, but are incapable of doing work. So we can ghoulify Moxie if, uh, if you choose to do that. There's probably other experiments as well. I'm assuming here that that is not the only one that's available to us. I'm also going to make some Militors, because it helps to have, you know, basic uh, red shirt robots to be able to throw at enemies. Looking for another vein of steel that is close to the base. I've, I've, I know I've, I saw some, but yeah, this might be the closest. It's also like up against a uh, ancient danger. And then there's this one. Now, uh, ghouls don't feel pain. They literally are not capable of feeling pain, so her wimpiness wouldn't matter. Nor would any nervousness or any other mood. They're moodless. They have no feelings. Uh, I don't know about other experiments. There might be some deeper in, but, um... Once we have ghoul infusion, I, I, you know, I would put up the poll. So there is the uh, colony in distress that I intend to go to uh, in the morning. So I'm going to create a new food policy, which is travel. Travel is going to be nutrient paste, simple meals, berries, and agave. So that's what we would likely forge. In fact, it's just going to be berries unless we go further into the desert. Um, I'm going to cook some extra simple meals. Because simple meals are going to last longer than uh, nutrient paste. Nutrient paste decays quick. Temporary workers. Hmm... Nah, 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 nah. I'm just choosing not. Manpower is a precious resource. Get your own. You can't loan out um, temporary peep joiners for temporary workers. So if Kish was still here. Oh, Distant Shriek. Uh, likely more of those uh, invisible creatures um, are coming in. The, um, the sight stealers. So fish, stand by the entryway. It's, uh, it's too bad I'm not done with this here. Uh, crack it, can I wake you? Yes, so the proximity detector is, is going off. I'm actually a little worried about the... Um... Oh, dang, it went right through the traps. Like, they weren't even there. Okay, cool, I guess. So the alarm went off. Like, hey, 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 you, you got some invisies. But uh, Fish Pickles was like, oh, okay. And, uh, oh, no, there's more than one. Cool. 
So I didn't lose my opportunity to, uh, to potentially capture. Oh, there we go! There we go! There we go! Grab it! And stick it in. Uh, the alarm's still pissy, so I'm assuming there's... Oh, yep, there's more. Yo, don't hit my sleeping robot. Oh, you kicked dirt into its eye. Yep, that's that's very sight stealer. Fish here is oh 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 no oh, oh oh someone is no okay wow you got revealed pretty early on do they have skulls they do not they do have meat they are tasty oh there's another one oh damn uh uh. Crackhead, quickly. Leave the secure zone because there is another one. Uh, and Avalka, you're just gonna have to wake up and tend to it. Up, up, two, two, chop, chop, go. I hope the sight stealer is not gonna jump Crackhead. Okay, are you still ping shot 14 hours? Cool. I got time. I, I think it's over. The alarm's not going off, so I think it was just four of them. Oh, good, an eclipse. Uh, well, I do have my wood fire generator on. So it should be all right. So let's go get the second sight stealer. And capture them up. That was uh, quite the boon. Crackhead, do you do med? Nah, you don't. Okay. Vodka, you tend. So the containment strength here is 39. Uh, gore husks require 60. Sight stealers require 30. Ghouls require... Um, 35. So yeah, we're not anywhere. It's not a worry at all. Cool. Ooh, look at that. 4.6 barrel ferrite and 2.4. <laughs> and more science. I like it. So we just researched proximity detector. Um, what next? So we have the electro harvester if we want to make power off of these dudes. Uh, Psychophagy, Draw Animals, Void Sculptures, Bliss, Sleep Suppressor. Um, I'm going to add Disruptor Flares. Which um, reveal them in a Sphere of Influence. And then also add uh, Ghoul Infusion. To make ghouls. And this is an advanced category. I don't know if I have access to that. Because I think we haven't done all the basics. So can I select it? Game says yes. So advanced psychic rituals. And then uh, serum synthesis. So build a serum lab to synthesize high tech serums, uh, which the initial one I would unlock is void site serum. Uh, a capsule of oily black fluid that squirms endlessly inside a glass when injected into the eye, ew, it suppresses the inhibitory neurons to keep perception focused on the real world, thus lifting dark psychic phenomenon into conscious perception. This increases the amount of knowledge gained when studying unnatural entities, as well as psychic sensitivity, but impacts mood. So it's a research and, and psi boost at a cost of mood. So, um... I'll just add that too. That's a big old pole. I'm going to be like partially obscured here. So there we go. I did mention wanting to venture out and I don't want to be a liar. So let's, um, let's go. 
So I am going to go with Fish, Crackhead Jazz, or no, Crackhead Moxie. Moxie might have a bit of a out on the road, but like that's going to be her problem, not mine. Uh, I will bring Twisted Meat for for our um, resident ghoul, though. I don't have bed rolls, but oh well, you know, yeah, whatever. All right, food policy, one more thing. Travel food is going to be Pem, too, because I have a little Pem. So Jazz, or no, Crackhead, Moxie. Good luck out there with fish pickles. You guys want ghoul infusion? That's at least leading, so I will cue that up. I like the color of their blood. Oh, Moxie, uh, well, you know, okay. Crackhead and fish will go with jazz. Moxie is um, supposed to be eating our food. Oh, you know what? Uh, load into the caravan. He made two more meals. Whoa, this is a weird color. It's like a dark green. Change food restrictions? Surely. That sounds like a good thing to do. Not that a pigger, a pig out will, you know, listen to that stuff. So we're headed to the distress signal um, that came in. Look at all this beautiful science. You're more worried about jazz starving on their own? That'll be all right. Fish is the one I'm worried about because raw meat and corpses don't really keep on roads. So sending ghouls out on a long, you know, excursion is uh, tricky. Um, I'm also going to have a Volca butcher these things because these things are going to go bad quick if I don't. We did get a machining table. Not that anyone's currently a constructor at home, but you know, we'll eventually get a machining table and smithy. I'm treating this like a crafting room, but I, I do intend to have like an independent standalone crafting room at some point. Alright, and they are very close to getting there. To satisfy your curiosity and uh, check that off the list. Oh, uh, you don't need to do that, though. Just butcher. Yep, just as I thought. It's flesh beasts. And in fact, uh, I may have not arrived with a decent amount of time because it seems like these guys have been dead a while <laughs> uh like 12 days a while so we have flesh bulbs here flesh bulbs a bulbous mass of flesh these flesh organs store uh refine and refine nutrients for surrounding flesh mass the chemical process generates a soft bioluminescent glow uh we have a new type of flesh piece a tough spike so that is uh, splits into, I'm assuming, lesser forms. And, yeah, I mean, their armor's not very high, but, um, they're very flammable, and I didn't really bring any flame. Uh, there's a pit here, and a pit here, and more bulbs. Um, their turrets were ancient, so they were just for show. I think I know why you got overrun. Oh, 
All right, let's go piss off the bulb. See if that um, induces them to, uh, to attack us. Oh, there's a bulb here. Perfect. No, didn't really piss them off. Oh, there we go. Some twisted meat. Are you hungry? Oh, you're hungry. Okay, let's eat the bulb. I brought my own trash compactor of sorts. And an ambush. Flesh beasts are emerging from a nearby pit. So, getting ambushed. Got it. I'm going to stand here for good line of sight westward. And near the edge of the map tile so I can... Uh, Relocate if need be. My monster is stronger than your monsters. That's right. Now we still have that tough spike left to, to, to contend with. I wonder if I can't sneak the burrow fill. Nope. Maybe I could if it was not close. Ooh, it's downed. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, where's the others? So there's uh, a finger spike there. I bet I can just have uh, fish pickles rip that apart. Now, I don't think I can, like, capture this and leave. I would imagine that that's not possible. Maybe I can carry it. I don't know. We'll see. Crackhead's going to close. Um, oh, area's now safe. Oh, look, this one's um, downed but not out, too. You know what? You know what? Oh, I don't have steel. Um, hmm. Are these made of steel? Yes, they are made of steel. This is made of steel. That is made of marble. Okay, uh, back home. I don't have any idea if I can actually do this, like, like to, to leave with them or whatever, but I will try to bring them home. So let's poke around a little bit. Oh, hello, flesh sack. Uh, a swollen lump of flesh digesting everything. However, they're unable to break down or non organic matter. So it's basically like a giant treasure chest. Got it. Well, time to rip open the sack. Phrasing is a problem. Oh, and it had a shard. Nice. All right, fish pickles, consume the meat. Um, these things are bleeding out, I'm assuming. So... This might be a bad idea. Uh, maybe I'll wait for fish pickles to be close by for me to, like, tend to it. Um, let's destroy the last of the bulbs. I don't know if that's required, but I'm going to do it anyway. Fish ate the stuff. Can I... For nope, unusable. Okay. That answers that. So keep eating the twisted meat. Mmm, yum. And... I didn't burn the flesh mass down, but I did destroy everything else that I saw. So, fish pickles, have... Uh, can you guard me while I tend these monsters to see if I can't, like, steal them? And then, back home... Trying to throw together some extra containment. If I have to break down my tool cabinets, I will. Reform caravan, heading back home. I don't... Um... Hmm. Hmm. 
Let me try something. Uh, I'm going to make some holding spots in here and then see if I can't um, transport them. That's probably what the holding spots are for. They will escape soon because it's not sufficient containment. That's fine. I mean, it's all temporary, right? So reform caravan. I don't see them here as a uh, uh, to be selected. So uh, it doesn't look like you can caravan them unless I can transfer to another map tile, but that doesn't seem possible either. So I think that isn't a thing you can do. Right. I lose the, the, the clicking. Okay. In that case, let's have a heyday. I'll just kill it. Maybe there's a way, but I didn't figure it out. And I attempted to do it a bunch of different ways. So, you know, if it's possible, I, you know. Maybe someone smarter than I will. We'll get to that. I'll bring some steel. Huh? Actually, you know what? Forget the steel. Bring pemmican and twisted meat. Psychoid leaves. Good job, guys. One sec. All right, there we go. Tickle in the throat. Well, I am, uh, I'm officially out of time for this stream. So this is where I'm going to leave off, friends. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death Cult, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 11th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and Countdown Timer's upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow cultists. <laughs>